for a lot of... The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys. This is some defense gameplay on Arca Harbor from Bad Company 2. In this video, I wanted to kind of um, give my thoughts on something. A, um, it's regarding the, the kind of discussion or fanboy battles or whatever you want to call them uh, that happens between Call of Duty players and Battlefield players and most often it's the Battlefield players really bashing on Call of Duty and you know there's different ar uh, different arguments that they typically use in like um, Battlefield is a lot more adult or um, how should I put it um, mature kind of an uh, play there's a lot more mature players uh, that it uh, that they um they think that Call of Duty is kind of noobish, and well, there's a lot of different um, arguments for uh, for uh, that the Battlefield fanboys use against Call of Duty, and one of them that I have a really big uh, that I have a problem with is the argument that Battlefield is more realistic than Call of Duty is, and I don't think that you should use the word realistic about a game and I'm not gonna say you shouldn't use it ever because you should never say ever or never say never but <laughs> the point is I don't think that realistic at least now and as far uh, as I can see into the future with my foresight um, as as far as I can imagine, I don't think that realistic is a word that we can use uh, use on a to for uh, we can't exp um, we can't say that a game is realistic not not as far as I can see because games are by their very nature unrealistic. They are made to be enjoyable and be. They're games. I mean, the fundamental par part behind a game. If you know a classic game like um, hide and seek or something of that matter, the whole whole concept is that it's a virtual or non-realistic, non-real experience and kind of entertainment. The whole point is that it's not realistic. It's not the real world. And I don't think that any game, at least as far as I can see, ever sh shouldn't be categorized as realistic. What I rather think that we should use is the word immersive. Because I believe that Battlefield is a lot more immersive than Call of Duty. That doesn't necessarily mean that the game is more realistic in, in any way. It just means that when I play Battlefield, I f feel a bigger sense of immersion and I'm, I'm more drawn into the game than I am with Call of Duty. And I believe that immersion is more important than realism because, let's face it, Battlefield isn't necessarily more realistic than, than Call of Duty. I mean, take for example the M95. That's a 50 caliber rifle, sniper rifle. If you get shot in any body part, like an arm, with the 50 cal or the M95, your whole arm is ripped off in reality. Your whole fucking arm flies off. If the bullet passes nearby you, that is enough for you to feel um, the pressure in the air change, and it will actually... Uh, well, I, I'm not sure what the word is, but it will kind of knock you back, it will kind of be drawn in the in the slipstream that the bullet makes. And if it comes close enough, it can actually tear your skin just by passing you, not even hitting you, just by passing you n like a near miss. That is enough to tear your skin, to rip your skin open and make a wound. That's a 50 caliber sniper rifle. In Battlefield, 
you can do a headshot with the M95. In reality, there would be no head left. In reality. But all you gotta do in Battlefield, Bad Company 2, is be a medic, walk over to that person that was just headshotted by an M95, charge up the paddles, the defibrillators, and shock him. And that's all he needs to rise up again and continue the battle. Now, if that's realistic, I don't know what is. And if you've ever seen that in real life, I envy you, good sir, or ma'am, because you've probably, you're probably the first person to ever see a zombie without a head or a limb. But my point is, Battlefield isn't necessarily any more realistic than Call of Duty. However, I believe that Battlefield is more immersive. It's more enjoyable, to me at least. And everyone is entitled to their own opinion and their own taste. If someone likes Call of Duty more than they do Battlefield, that's okay with me. I don't care. You go play Battle uh, Call of Duty. Just don't bother me with all your Call of Duty uh, praise or whatever. When I say, I like Battlefield, that's what I like to play. I don't want to hear that, oh god, it's so much better. I mean, you can do this and this and Battlefield is just stupid and that's just stupid. I don't care. If you enjoy Call of Duty, go play Call of Duty. I'll keep playing Battlefield because that's what I enjoy. So, guys, stop saying that ba Battlefield is more realistic. By all intents and purposes, it's a game. It's not more realistic. I believe it's more immersive. It makes me feel like much more like I'm, a, I'm on a battlefield. And that kind of is implied in the title of the game, I guess, but still. It's not necessarily more realistic, it's more immersive. It feels like a real battle, a real war in a much higher de degree than I ever felt in Call of Duty. And let's face it, Call of Duty is an arcadey shooter. You can't argue against that. I mean, it's very arcadey. And Battlefield, while more arcadey than, uh, or Bad Company series at least, while more arcadey than its predecessors, I still believe it to be less arcadey than Call of Duty, I guess. It, this is very, you know, gray zone kind of deal. So, back to my original point, Battlefield isn't necessarily more realistic. It's just more immersive. And if that's your, your shtick, then that's your shtick. So, <laughs> you know. So, that's really all I wanted to say. I um, hope to see you next time, guys. Snuckies.